Hello beloveds, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm excited to share with you my evening routine which I like to call a Christian inspired evening routine. Our habits often deeply impact our spiritual and emotional well-being so I hope this inspires you to cultivate a meaningful evening routine as well. As the day winds down, I find that my evening routine is not just about winding down physically but also about nourishing my soul and connecting with God. It's a sacred time where I seek peace, I seek reflection and spiritual renewal before I rest. So I hope you'll join me as I walk you through each step of my evening routine. If you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to click the like comment share and subscribe button after a busy day one of the first things i do in my evening routine is to prepare a wholesome meal I've come to learn that cooking isn't about nourishment for the body, it's also a spiritual practice for me. As I chop vegetables and prepare ingredients, I reflect on God's provision and creativity in providing me with nourishing food from earth. Today I decided to cook mashed potatoes with fish cake. I boiled and mashed my potatoes, added rama margarine for creaminess, parsley for a burst of flavor and cheese to enhance their richness. I marinated the fish with a blend of flavors chili, garlic, and ginger, a squeeze of lemon, a touch of raja margarine, and a special spice mix for fish from Robinson. I mix it all together and I defrost it, heat it up in the oven, and then I marinate my fish. Close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I know you know me well. I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here. I can't so plans with you to me with sin and break your heart. Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are. I wonder if you leave for me. God, just tell me what you need for me. Is the Holy Spirit still in me? God, I'm asking you for clarity. Even though you told me already. God told me I'm someone. Told me I'm someone. Told me I'm someone. Told me I'm. Told me I'm. Told me I'm someone. Told me I'm someone. No, I'm someone. No, I'm a child. As I was cooking this meal, I reflected on God's provision. The ingredients before me reminded me of his abundance and creativity in providing nourishment for my body. The act of cooking became a form of worship as I thanked God for the food on my table and the hands that prepared it. Walking down the valley, pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach, like the angels do, and you gon' make it through now. Tell about the healer, greater is the one within her, call him as the leader. Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky, and I'ma wait up on the giver, he'll deliver like a dealer. To take her higher. Once the meal was ready, I sat down to eat mindfully while enjoying one of my favorite TV series. If 
you know me, you know. Because I savored each bite of the flavorful mesh and tender fish, I remained present in the moment, appreciating the nourishment provided by the meal. Eating mindfully allows me to fully enjoy the flavors and textures of the food. It enhances my overall dining experience. It also provides a moment of relaxation and enjoyment as I immerse myself in the storyline of the TV shows. I'm working on them so things now, forgiving all your old ways, but it's harder on a cold day. Cold day. Never been a product of a flawless environment. Never acted like I'm higher than you, 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 you. Episode, I pack any leftover food into containers, ensuring that nothing goes to waste. This practice of stewardship reminds me of the importance of gratitude and responsible consumption. Once that was done, I moved to the kitchen sink to wash the dishes. As I scrubbed each plate and utensil, I reflected on the day's blessings and expressed thanks for the provision of food and the ability to enjoy a warm meal. Washing dishes became a meditative act, allowing me to connect with God through simple acts of service. With the kitchen task completed, I stepped into the shower for a refreshing cleanse. Now listen, daughter. I also turn my attention to my skin care routine. Taking care of my skin is not just about physical health, it's also a form of self-care and gratitude for the body God has given me. I cleanse my face, I apply no shea moisturizer and take a moment to care for my skin. This routine is a reminder of the importance of stewarding our bodies well, honoring God by treating them with respect and gratitude. These lies they told are so familiar They will haunt you, they will kill you Keep your hostage, he will heal you With my body and soul refreshed I transition into my evening devotion This is a sacred part of my routine Where I connect deeply with God Through prayer, scripture reading and reflection But first, I make myself some chamomile tea Just to prepare and calm my body Sitting in a quiet place, I open my Bible and meditate on the Word of God. I pour out my heart in prayer, expressing gratitude for the day's blessings and seeking His guidance for tomorrow. This time of devotion is essential for nourishing my spirit and drawing me closer to God. Throughout the tasks that I do, I continue to reflect on God's provision, the act of preparing eating and caring for my body underscores the abundance and care that god provides in our daily lives i thanked him for the sustenance and resources he graciously provides recognizing that even the routine tasks of life his presence and provision are evident i'd love to hear from you how do you incorporate prayer reflection and self-care into your evening routine Let's inspire each other in our faith journeys on the comment sections.
Thank you so much for joining me as I shared my Christian-inspired evening routine.